taong daya. Salamat Panginoon sa iyong bunga. Isyo, kanuog sa aking puso. Amin sarili ay aming handog. Laging tapat at laging tukon. Dahil ito handa kami, Panginoon. Kami tayo sa iba't ibang dako. Hatid ang iyong salita at pag-ibig ko. Dahil Maria, Ay namin kutuod, dalag na ng ayam ng iyong misyon. At ang taong kaya, salamat ang iyong kutuod sa iyong kutuod. Ang kutuod sa iyong Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin our show this evening, let us begin with the prayer. Let us begin with the prayer. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In nomine patri et fili et spiriti sancti. Amen. Revised Horatio Imperata against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they be minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. 
May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities. But deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Canunso, pray for us. HNI members and everyone. Here now is the prayer of protection for hands inclusion age. God our Father, we implore you to us for the enlightenment and rescue, the repentant success of the organization, hands in inclusion to redeem us. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from all sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the dead. Keep us in putting that first whatever is the religion of the fourteen, including the Father, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and owners of the poor whom you also love. Yes, Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people we are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his party to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines we hear and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the mind that we hold. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and he may be stop whatever mind that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by hands inclusion between us. To repent from the sins, they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they have done. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong timings. In your eyes, the organization. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sea, pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Alonso, pray for us. Saint Blair of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Bonita, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, Pray for us and our family and our friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Pius the Tenth, and Pope Saint John Paul the Second, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. Grant the Holy Spirit have mercy and change the heart of everyone. All organizations, and all the people who family work with the organization to make terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in the conspiracy. To false accuse anyone and hands in the Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
May lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sin sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In nomine Patri, et Fili, et Spiriti Sancti. Amen. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. and gentlemen welcome to editorial today is sunday february 21 2021 i'm your host carlos miguel kanahashi and we are broadcasting simultaneously on inclo radio and hansen inclusion philippines youtube channel we will begin our show with our verse for today from proverbs chapter 28 verse 13 Whoever conceals their sins does not prosper, but the one who confesses and renounces them finds mercy. We will begin our topic proper in just a moment, and we will be back after these commercials. Now this. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, welcome back to Editorial. This evening, we will discuss about what is sociology. Sociology is the scientific study of social behavior and human groups. It focuses on how the relationships influence people's attitudes and behavior and how societies develop and change. According to C. Wright Mills, he describes sociological imagination as an awareness of the, in, of the relationship between an individual and the wider society and the ability to view one society as an outsider world. Would. Sociology looks beyond a limited understanding of human behavior. It is done through to see the world and its people in a new way and see through a broader lens. The science of science of Sociology is the body of knowledge obtained by methods based on systematic observation. Natural science is the study of physical features and need of nature and the ways they interact and change. Social science is the study of social features of humans and the ways they interact and change. Sociology study influence society has on people's attitudes and behavior. It seeks to understand ways in which people interact and shape society and examine social relationships scientifically. Sociologists do not accept something as fact because everyone knows it. Each piece of information must be tested, recorded, and analyzed. Women tend to be chattier than men, and military marriages are likely to end separation or divorce. The essence of sociology is that employing the system of Karl Marx dialectical social economic materialism and Karl Mannheim's historical relativism, Werner Stark crystallizes as a sociology of knowledge in the light of the scalar Weber tradition of sociological realism. The essence of the sociology of knowledge concerns itself with the horizontal relations between thought and thinkers. It represents a worldview that affirms society in the light of value facts in sense society. Considering religious thought and values as the primary objects of knowledge and printing its hermeneutical method, meaning as just thoughts to others, the sociology of knowledge interprets the historical manifestation of truth in society as a community of knowers. The sociological theory is a set of statements that seeks to explain problems, actions, or behavior. Effective theories have explanatory and predictive power. Theories are not final statements about human behavior. Dirk M. Suicide Studies states that, it, it, that sociology suggested suicide related to group life. How is sociology being developed? It was started in the late 18th to 19th century with the lead of the weakening of the church and development of natural sciences, imperialism, the French and industrial revolution triggered by the strict changes in Western societies. From the societal chaos, leads to the birth of scholars and the scientific study of society. Auguste Comte is, is, a, is, um, is the one who coined the term sociology and systematic investigation 
of behavior needed to improve society. Harriet Martino studied social behavior in the UK and US, and then he emphasized impact of economy, law, trade, health, and population on social problems. Max Weber, um, is the one who, who, who comprehend behavior and one must learn subjective meaning people attached to actions. The ideal type is to construct for evaluating specific cases. First, the hand means your understanding or your insights. Karl Marx is a, is a sociologist wherein um, he said that the working class should overthrow, overthrow the existing class system. And he is he's the one who's involved in the Marxist society. And, he, and the society divided into two classes that, that clash in pursuit of interest. And he worked with Friedrich Engels. He emphasizes group identification and association that influence one's place in society. W.E.B. Du Dubois is a black sociologist assisted struggle for racially and egalitarian society. Knowledge essential in combating prejudice and the in-depth studies of urban life. And he focused on religion at community level. Normal consciousness, ladies and gentlemen, means the division of individuals' identity into two or more social realities. Robert Merton is the one who combined theory and research, and he developed explanation of divine behavior. Let's differentiate between macrosociology and microsociology. Macrosociology concentrates on larger scale phenomena or entire civilizations. In the case of microsociology, stresses study of small groups, often through experimental means. Pierre Bourdieu is a French sociologist who is involved in this. Capital sustains individuals and families from one generation to the next. Cultural capital is the non-economic goods related to the knowledge of language and arts. In the case of social capital, it is the connected benefit of social networks. And to wrap this up, in summary, ladies and gentlemen, sociology is the study of human behavior. Sociology refers to social behavior, society, patterns of social relationships, social interaction and culture that surrounds everyday life. It is the social science that uses various methods of empirical investigation and critical analysis to develop a body of knowledge about social order and social change. So, So sociology is a social science concerned with the study of society in human behavior and relationship. In layman's term, the subject matter is diverse and can cover anything from the issues related to our civilized society. And sociology is also refers to the study of how we behave, how we can practice the proper culture and also to have social change and empirical investigation. So the word sociology comes from the Latin word socius means companion. Logi is the study of. So the term sociology comes, was coined by Emmanuel Joseph Ave Cies in an unpublished manuscript. So these, the methods, of sociology is, is it's done in a broad manner as natural science. According to Emil Durkheim from the Rules of Sociological Method, he said, our main goal is to extend scientific rationalism to human conduct. What has been called our positivism, but is but a consequence of this rationalism. So, <laughs> So, sociology, ladies and gentlemen, involves the sociology of culture and cultural sociology. And this can be done through political, cultural, social, education, environment, economic, family, knowledge and science, population, race, religion, social change, your social networks and your stratification and urban and rural. 
So, in other words, the essence of this topic that I'm discussing this evening is that when we do sociology, we need to examine the issues related in our civilized society, uh, such, as, such as political and social issues, economic issues, and other issues that are necessarily happening in our country, in our country and the world as well. So, the, the, role, the goal is to investigate the structure of groups. And also, as sociology is an exciting discipline, we're expanding opportunities for a wider range of career paths. And this, how people, this is about how people express mo emotions, the social life, crimes, and other issues, downsiding the education problems and other problems in our civilized society, and also health, like epidemics, like the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, and the list goes on. So, to summarize what we have learned, sociology is a social science that involves the studies of human societies, their interactions, and the processes that preserve and change them. It does this by examining the dynamics of constituent parts of society, such as institutions, communities, populations, and gender, racial or age groups. It involves the social status or stratification, social movements, and social change. And this will overwhelm the way it regulates the behavior of humans because humans lack the instincts that guide most animal, animal behavior. So based on these philosophies, that I've showed to you this evening, scholars who establish sociology as a legitimate social science are very careful to distinguish from biology and psychology. So a famous French sociologist named Emile Durkheim, he argued that various kinds of interactions between individuals brought about the certain new properties not found in, se in separate individuals. And this Lead to Henry Main and Ferdinand Tonis with the, with the word Gemenshop and Jesselshop. Gemenshop, what I have learned yesterday in my class, Jesselshop means community and society. How is this related to sociology? This um, method, Gemenshop and Jesselshop, is coined by Henry Main and Ferdinand Tonis. German Schaff is communal while Jessel Schaff is associated. But the misuse of the dichotomy of Tonis considered a fail to understand the difference between German Schaff and Jessel Schaff. They are not categories of classification. Okay, okay let us now move on to our next part of the show, which is announcements. Okay. We have sales ongoing in our online shop. The Hansen Inclusion t-shirts. For the white colored Hansen Inclusion t-shirts, the white one is small is 430 pesos, medium is 440 pesos, large is 450 pesos, excellent is 460 pesos, with additional 50 pesos with text at the back. For the Hansen Inclusion T-shirts, black, small size is 450 pesos, medium is 460 pesos, large is 470 pesos, Excel is 480 pesos with additional 50 pesos with text at the back. For the Hansen Inclusion tote bags, the small size is 220 pesos, medium is 240 pesos, large is 260 pesos with additional 50 pesos with text at the back. For the Hansen Inclusion stickers, we include RES, 250 pesos. Iniibig ko ang mga Pinoy EWDs, 150 pesos. Hand to inclusion, 150 pesos. You may pay via GCash and or pay Maya on the number flash in your screen. 0917-701-9684. That's 0917-701-9684. It will deliver to you via TalkTalk in NCR, Lala Move, Gogo Express, Grab and Mistress Media Philippines in NCR, Cavita, Rizal, Laguna, and Bulacan only. 
The rest of the country will be delivered to you via LBC. If you want to donate for Hansen Inclusion, you may do so via GCash and or PayMaya, no matter what or regardless if the amount is smaller or larger. On this number, flash in your screen, 0917-701-9684. That's 0917-701-9684. For those who donated, thank you for your continuous generosity and for your continuous support to Hands and Inclusion. Okay, Hands in Inclusion will have another webinar this coming February 8, 7, 2021. The title is Connected in with Down Syndrome. So, in celebration of the National Down Syndrome Awareness Month in the Philippines, Hands in Inclusion will have another webinar about Down Syndrome. So, Connected in with Down Syndrome it's a webinar of Hands in Inclusion wherein they tell stories of the advocates about what Down syndrome is in a testimonial of a mother, of, the, of a mother of a child who was diagnosed with Down syndrome. So it will broadcast this coming Saturday, February 27, 2021, at 1 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. via the Hands in Inclusion Facebook page. And there will be a sign language interpreter for our viewers for the deaf and the hard key of hearing. So who are our speakers? Ms. Forrester Mona Visperas, the current president of the Tagui ADHD Family Support Group and a member of the Poblacion PWD Federation in Bulacan. Dr. Francis Xavier Daniel Maronila de Malanta is a licensed medical doctor who specializes in developmental and behavioral pediatrics. And he runs a clinic in St. Luke's Medical Center, Quezon City, and BGC in Taguig. He also is an internationally trained practitioner in child relations and advocacy. And he went to Boston, New York, Baltimore to do some trainings about child relations and advocacy and developmental and behavioral pediatrics. And he also appeared on mass on television on Daybreak on then Solar News Channel called, it's now called today as CNN Philippines. Uh, Sakto on then DZMM Teleradio, which is called today as Teleradio. And, and on the Bowel Judgmental segment of Eat Bulaga on GMA Network. And he's also a member of the Philippine Cerebral Palsy Incorporated. Miss Susanna P. Yuzan is the mother of a, of a child who was diagnosed with Down syndrome. She is a former Miss Thailand and Miss World and the current president and founder of the Miss Possibilities Foundation. You will see these speakers this coming Saturday, February 27, 2021 at 1 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. From the, by the Hansen Inclusion Facebook page. If you miss it, you may watch it again on the YouTube channel of Hansen Inclusion at around 8.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. or 8 p.m. to 11 10.30 p.m. And for those who are the deaf and hard of hearing, don't fret. There is... Wala, huwag kang aalala. Relax lang. May sign language interpreter para sa mga deaf at hard of hearing. Okay. This coming uh, on March 5, 2021, at 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. via Zoom, the, the Beehive, the Benil Center Student Government, and the Benil Center for Inclusive Education will have a webinar about the LGBTQIA+. It is SANS on LGBTQIA+. The, the speaker is Gio Caligua, who runs um, a historical uh, site in and, uh, and an expert in history in Paranaque City. It will be held on March 5, 2021 at 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. via Zoom. There is, it, the event is free and there are FS sign language interpreters available. Okay. If you want to learn more about hands in inclusion, you may do so by following us on our social media pages in of Hands in Inclusion. Facebook, Hands in Inclusion PH. Twitter, HNI Philippines. Instagram and 
WordPress, Hansen in Asian Philippines, Kumu, HNI Philippines, and subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Hands in Inclusion Philippines. In addition, you may want to follow the associated pages in Hands in Inclusion. Facebook, Inclu Radio, Inclu Sports, Inclu Nihan, the online shop, and Inclu Gaming, and our YouTube channel, Inclu Gaming. Regarding the anticipated return of Hands in Inclusion Philippines that will happen soon, apart from your patience and understanding, we need your help and prayers for the anticipated return of Hands in Inclusion Philippines in the future as a formal organization and also for the pandemic to end. Sa mga nakikipanood sa atin, maliban po sa iyong pasensya at pangunawa, hiniling namin po ang iyong tulong at panalangin sa anumang rehilyon ninyo na sana bumalik ang Hands in Inclusion at hiniling ito sa Panginoon. Sana maging maayos tayo at sana Maging coronavirus-free ang Pilipinas at coronavirus-free ang buong mundo. Okay, it's, well, it's now the time for our uh, shout-outs. To my family, good evening, hi! And to my fellow Hands in Inclusion members, my friends and best buddies, Benil, my high school and college friends, and also in Agat EWD United, good evening! And to those who are celebrating your birthdays, Patricia Maya Maya, Mark Mayor, and Earl Roy De Jesus, happy birthday. And also to those who are celebrating their wedding anniversaries, happy anniversary. And also, sa mga may sakit, gumaling ka. Sa mga tao may sakit. At, and also to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. So please continue to support us, hands in, in, hands in Inclusion, as we also prepare for ourselves for the fourth anniversary of this organization. We have a new taste and a new and a better, stronger, one inclusion nation. Ito ang bagong tapang ng one inclusion nation. Okay. And also, aside from this, uh, to our kababayans who are in uh, parts of Isaias and Mindanao, continue to be safe because of type, tropical storm Aurin. To those who are affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, continue to be safe and healthy. Continue to follow the minimum public health standards like washing of hands, using a face mask and face shield when we go up to maintain uh, physical distancing and social distancing. And of course, drink vitamin C and eat healthy. And then you can only go out when needed. If you don't have anything to do outside, stay home. Bahay muna, buhay muna. Konting tiis na lang. Malapit na magkakaroon ng bakuna. And of course, tomorrow is the midterm exam in Benil to all the Benilians. So on behalf of the Hansen Inclusion Philippines Management, I would like to wish our Benilians the best of luck on your final exams. Study well. Good luck. God bless you and live Jesus always in our hearts forever. Okay, and also, uh, if you want to uh, support Hands and Inclusion, you may do so by following the, so the following us on the social media pages and YouTube channels that I've mentioned earlier. For those who did, thank you for your continuous support. For those who donated to Hands and Inclusion, thank you for your continuous generosity and your 
support as well. And please continue to include us, especially with our with your prayers, as hands in inclusion will return soon and to be a formal organization in the future. And as also, as we also prepare ourselves for this new normal in our lives, we will tell everyone to know that we should we have to be doing our changes of our behavior so that we won't be in flexibility. We shall not be complacent, especially in this time of the pandemic. We should have the time to adjust to ourselves and to other people in our surroundings as well. And also to continue to follow the minimum public health standards. Hanggat maaari, iwasan po natin ang magiging kampante. Dapat mag, mag, mag i-rely tayo sa ibang mga, dapat magbigay, magbibigay dahan sa, sa ibang tao ang ating mga kapaligiran. Iwasan din ang pagkalat at huwag maniniwala mga peking balita sa social media. Dapat kaya sundin ang mga minimum public health standards. Ang paghuhugas ng kamay, dumistansya, pagsuot ng face mask at face shield, maguminom ng vitamin C araw-araw, at dapat mag... dapat kailan tayo magka Kapag wala kayong gagawin sa labas, manatingin po sa ating mga tahanan. Bahay muna, buhay muna. Okay? And that will be all for tonight for editorial. I will be back again tomorrow for the editorial segment at 7 p.m. On behalf of Inclu Radio and Hatsang Asian Philippines, I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Tanahashi. Have a productive week ahead. Thank you. Good night. May God bless us all. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. To God be the glory. To God bring us peace and everlasting peace. Pagpalain tayo na wa na po may kapal. Sa ikaapat na anibersaryo ng Hands in Inclusion, ito ang bagong tapang ng One Inclusion Nation. We include our yes. We at Hands and Inclusion include us and include each other. And we include together for one inclusion forever. H&I got first. Maraming salamat at magandang gabi sa ating lahat. Mabuhay.